carry an item. Might buy it. We'll see. All right, here we are. We're at the location looking to buy this thing. As you see, the seller is there working on the tires when we showed up. Uh, this thing's looking pretty brown and dirty. Looks worse in the reality than it did in the pictures. Yeah, that one tire we ended up just leaving off. All right, look at that. Brown, ugly. All right, here we are. We bought it. We're pulling out. Let's hope we make it home. All right, guys, we bought a camper that we're going to use for storage if we can get it home. Uh, sketchy tires, very sketchy tires. Uh, we had to actually remove one of the tires because it was deflating very rapidly. But honestly, it didn't matter because our hitch is so high that by the time we connected this trailer to our hitch back there, it's off the ground. So the, the front axle's not even sitting on the ground. Yeah, we're taking the back roads home. Unfortunately, he said one of the back roads we plan to use is closed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check out our camper. Hope our tires don't blow out. Here we are, we're about halfway home. So far it's still attached, the tires didn't blow out, the top didn't crumble once we got the wind. We're 44 miles an hour, keeping it slow. Road closures, we went way past where we wanted to go. And otherwise, halfway home. Let's hope we make it all the way. Any guesses for names, Brett? Anyone gets guess the name right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hint. Uh, it's brown. Boy, I think, I think I like it. Yeah. There we are, we made it home. We named it on the way home. Tanner probably already told ya. Mm. The turd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now we get to check it out. Yeah. All right, everyone, here we are. We are inside the turd, bringing you first person view of the first day when we got the turd home. Um, as you saw from the outside, this thing is brown and dirty looking, so its new name is the turd. So it's gonna be a lot of work, but yeah, we don't intend to fully restore this thing. We are just going to, at least right now, clean it. It's pretty nasty. And um, yeah, and then put some stuff back together so we can walk on the floor. Right now we got plywood. We don't want to step on the metal. I think we'll fall right through. And yeah, then we intend to possibly store hay up front for the time being. Eventually we'll get somewhere better to store hay. But then back here, We'll put like some shelving, toolboxes, and just make it um, like a small little workshop on wheels. And then maybe someday, turn this into a camper. Probably not. But you never know. Once we have it, opportunities are endless. Whoa! Uh -oh. Walk over here. Don't want to fall through the floor. You got everything you need. You got bees in. Yeah. 
No money. There's the toilet holes. Two of them. Yeah. No cloggers. Okay. Pretty cool. Yep. Don't step there. There's the roof. Yeah. Gonna need some work up there to keep it from leaking. Yeah, check that out right there. Yeah, that's pretty thin. So I couldn't figure out why this tire kept losing air. We tried putting green goop in and oh yeah, we got one patch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got at least 10 patches in the sidewall of this tire here. Oh yeah, I don't know what they're thinking. Why didn't that goop hold? All right, here we are, cleaning it. Got to stand on the spots where the frame is so we don't fall through. Oh, the fan's crumbling. No, no. We needed that. Now it's going to be hot in here. Hey, hey, all right, so we made it home with the turd. Yeah, that was a very interesting drive. Uh, this is how we drove it here. Um, one axle, one wheel removed, because there's at least like 10 patches in this tire here, and it was totally not holding air. This tire that is on there isn't holding air either. Thankfully, we made it home with it. But yeah, so... We couldn't get our hitch removed. This hitch was really high, so it had it at quite an angle. And that's actually good because what it did was it put it so that front axle wasn't even touching the ground, which is perfect. We we're just riding on that rear axle. But yeah, we were worried that those dry rotted tires were gonna shred and no lights, no brake lights, no turn signals. Um, yeah. It was a sketchy drive, but we made it. Turd is home. That's what we named it when we were pulling in the driveway. We might rename it later. Uh, we started gutting it. So, that's our job today. We're going to work on continuing to clean it, gut it. Uh, we need some flooring in it. Because right now, if we step on the floor, if we don't walk on the beams, we'll fall right through. So check out the inside. All right, this is where we're at right now. This was about an hour or two's worth of work the day we brought it home to continue getting it, vacuuming it out, getting some of the mouse poop out. Unfortunately, these fenders, they're just plastic. That kind of sucks, but whatever. I guess it lightens the weight. But yeah, so it's pretty cool so you can see what the inside of one of these looks like when it's gutted. Um, some of the ceiling beams are rotted, so we gotta work on that upper ridge. Some of that's just not even there. And then some of the beams crossing we gotta work on. And then some of these lower beams, or boards, they're rotted out too. Front one across there, it's missing. So put a board there. Right there, unfortunately we can't see with the plastic we set down, but yeah, this whole wall is just dropping because that board at the bottom has gone, so we're going to wedge a 2 by 4 under there. They'll hit from beam to beam to beam. We're just going to use this for storage for now, but we want it so it's sturdy and stable and doesn't leak. Put a grid of two by fours down. Now we're gonna put plywood over it and screw it down. Okay, there we are. We're 
get in the floor and yeah. Got a couple boards in. Now we can walk without worrying about falling through. A lot of work to go still. All right, we've got the first layer in. It's not perfect, but we're gonna put a second layer on now that'll give it the strength. Yeah, we're making progress. Flooring. Yeah, just ignore that gap there. We'll cover it. Oh, yep, ignore the toilet hole. We'll have to cover that. Okay, got some plywood here. Bring it down to the camper. Putting our floor in. There it is. We call it the third. able to step in it without worrying about falling through the floor here because we actually have some nice floor down there we go we're making progress here we got two layers of floor so now it's nice and sturdy yeah all right get some cutting on the table saw get our floor cut All right, we are screwing in the floorboards here. We're on our second layer, so it's getting pretty secure. The camper's coming along. We used to fall through the floor. Now, you don't fall through the floor. Okay. Finally, the last screw of our floor here. There it is. Making progress. Okay, making it comfy in here. Oh yeah. Okay, here we are. Spent the afternoon working on the camper. Um, we're putting floor in. Putting two layers of flooring in. Before it was just the framing and if we were to step outside of the frame, we would fall in and we didn't want that. So we got two layers of flooring in and that's what we're calling it quits for today. So once we got the floor in, we put some carpet in and that way it's nice and comfy. So let's check it out. All right, there's our carpet pads. And then going back that way, we got a rug, all nice and comfy, almost ready to sleep in. And then up front, eventually we're going to put hay for the time being, so not going to really make that too comfy. But yeah, so keep an eye out for the future videos. Um, still going to work on the ceiling and the walls and then maybe some electrical, some lighting and make it cool. We're not going to restore it completely but still got a little more work to do. So, all right, thanks for watching.